Hello, and welcome to Super Mario Land 2. Now, this will be our next series that we're going to do. And if you're wondering to yourself why Super Mario Land 2, I ask to you, why not Super Mario Land 2? Super Mario Land 2 is, in my opinion, just one of the best Mario games ever. Um, I know uh, there's a lot of Mario out there, and a lot, pretty much all of it's good, um, I will say. I haven't, uh, I haven't met a Mario game that I don't like, and I can say that pretty, uh, pretty, um, competently. And Super Mario Land 2, it's just one, it's just another, uh, another game in a roster of amazing games. Um, the reason we're starting with Super Mario Land 2 and not Super Mario Land 1 is the general consensus is that Super Mario Land 1 is just like a smaller game, um, and this one's not big by any means, but yeah, Super Mario Land 1 is just, it's smaller, it's, uh, just, it's the first one, you know? And the second one is always improved upon, if done correctly, and this is a Mario game, so it is done very well in my opinion. Now, some of you may not have ever heard of the Super Mario Land series. It is actually the Game Boy original equivalent, not equivalent, I guess you would say its version of Mario 2D platformers. They were like, wow, Super Mario Bros. on the NES is, abs is an absolute hit. We need to do this on our ever popular Game Boy. So they came out with Super Mario Land, and there was Super Mario Land 1, Super Mario Land 2, and then Super Mario Land Wario Land 3. Super Mario Land 3, Wario Land, I believe is what it was called. And then Wario Land 4. There might have been a fifth one, but I don't think there was. So this is actually the series that Wario was introduced, which is actually super interesting, and I feel like... You know, Wario is just, is just such a, is a Nintendo character with just an absurd amount of staying power because, you know, no matter who you are, you've probably heard of Wario, he's very popular, and a lot of people have a lot of great things to say about him, myself included. I, uh, over the years, over these past probably five, six, you know, years or so, I have found myself appreciating Wario a lot more. Same with Donkey Kong. Um, I've... I don't know why. I uh, I played a lot of uh, Mario Party One and Two as a kid, and really not as a kid, just as you know, as a person. I still play them quite frequently, uh, but I was always like, eh, you know, I choose Wario and Donkey Kong as the third and fourth. No, as two of the four CPUs, because you know they're like, you know, they're cool guys or whatever, but. They're no Mario, or no Shy Guy, or whatever, but, I don't know, I've started to respect them. So, all that to say, a character that is beloved and respected, I feel a lot of people just don't know his origins. So, Super Mario Land 2, I don't think he was in Super Mario Land 1, um, he might have been. I have not actually played it. Um, I played, I have played Super Mario Land 2 an unhealthy amount of times, but I've only been able to beat it just a couple, because I played it as a kid a lot, and I just went back and played it again as an adult, because I was like, man, I, I remember playing this Mario game, and it was like nothing like I had seen before, it was like, uh, just different, and I looked it up, I was like Mario 2D platformers or something, and sure enough, Super Mario Land showed up, and I was like, oh my god, oh, so good. And I uh, got a hold of them. I actually got a hold of a regu the regular cartridge, and then I also got a hold of the cartridge that you're seeing right now. It's not, I'm not playing on the cartridge, but I do own this cartridge. It's the DX version, and I figured I would go ahead and play the one with color for you guys. Um, I prefer it in the original 
since, like, it came out on... I believe it came out alongside the Game Boy Pocket. Because the Game Boy original had that puke green screen. Whereas the Pocket, I believe, had, was able to just put off, like, some color. So basically what I'm getting at here, Super Mario Land 2, you can go look at footage of the original, that's not the DX version. It... It is like a blue color. So instead of like everything being green, it's all just blue. And it's pretty cool, I'm a huge fan. And I, that's how I prefer to play the game, and I've never actually played it in color like this, but I have to say, I mean, it does look good. I just prefer the blue. And it, it's just a very unique color style. And, you know, not everything has to be 4K Ultra HD graphics, or even HD for that matter. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't get too butt hurt when it comes to, uh, yeah, can't get through here for, uh, regular size Mario, so you know what I'm gonna have to do. Oh, that's the thing from Kirby, as, by the way. I can't remember their names, so they got a weird name, but, I know it might have seemed bold that I just got rid of my Fire Flower like that just to see what's on the other side of this. Uh, we might not actually be able to get in here, yeah, I've actually had a problem where I can't go up pipes. I don't know why. It's so weird. Just a moment. Nah. Weird. Yeah. It's just, uh, I don't know what's going on with that. I'll get it figured out by the next episode, I hope. Um, that means we lost our fire flyer for nothing, though. <laughs> Which is just awful. But I think there's a mushroom right here. Come on, mushroom. It's probably in the middle. It usually is. Either that or on the, the far right. Those are pretty hot spots for power-ups. Wow. Alright. I don't need a power-up, though. I'm pretty much uh, a Super Mario Land 2 expert, which is not the case, but sometimes it feels like the case. Wow. I hit that block, but it didn't activate it. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. This is a just... It's just a super fun, super cool game, and it is on the Game Boy, so... If you wanted to emulate it, it could pretty much just be emulated on just about anything. Um, I don't think we can get up there. Yeah, we can. Oh, look out. We're probably just gonna not see much. I don't think they're... Okay. I was gonna say, I don't think... I forgot there were Koopas there, basically. That's the halfway point. Now, we can go through tubes. I call them tubes. Um, sideways. But we can't go through them up. So if we run into a tube that goes up, we're screwed. Um, which is usually how you get out of water levels is either going straight up or to the right. So there's a 50-50 chance this uh, this episode's going to end in heartbreak. I'm only going to make them 20 minutes long because it's a Game Boy game. And I don't want to be excessive. And I don't want to want to just beat the game. Uh-oh. Well... Just a moment. And welcome back. We went through some technical difficulties, but I now have the up button, and that's about it. I died a couple times, which I went ahead and just edited it out, because I figured if I'm editing, I might as well edit it all. So, that's what I'm up to. Now, tell me, doesn't it feel weird to follow up a Banjo-Kazooie game with a Game Boy game? How strange, right? I'm definitely not hating on the Game Boy or saying that it's inferior in any way, but it's just so weird. Banjo-Kazooie was like, I feel like one of those milestone, uh, milestone playthroughs on my channel. It'll always be one of, the, it'll always be a big one. And I, I feel like I'm trying to keep the playthroughs, I'm trying to play games that feel as though they will have staying power and like good, just good games. I just want to play games that people might be interested in. But at the same time, sometimes you gotta play Super Mario Land 2. You push people outside of their comfort zone a little bit. And I think that's a good thing. Because this is truly an amazing game. Come on. There we go. Yeah. So, I think what I'm going to do for this series... I You probably saw that we were in Turtle Zone. This world is, I mean, this game is 
concocted, if you will. Oh, I died right here. This is where, uh, this is the first area I died. Oh, it's at the very end, of course. How silly. Wah! Nice. That was a big win for us. Um, but we're in Turtle Zone right now, and there, this is game is called Super Mario Land 2. The gold, the eight golden coins. Yes, eight golden coins. There are eight zones in this game. I'll feel real silly if it's like seven, but I'm pretty sure it's eight. Um, there's eight golden coins that we have to go get. And each zone has three levels along with some... A few zones have hidden levels, which we will find all the hidden levels. It's like Super Mario World, where it has like a score. You can find like secret, secret areas and whatnot. And I'm actually going to go back to Turtle Zone 2 and uh, get a secret. Oh, here's a power-up that you guys might not have ever known about. It's the bunny ears. Um, it's very reminiscent of the leaf from Super Mario Land 3, or Super Mario Bros. 3, but you can stay up a lot longer. You just keep tapping A. It's uh, it's pretty good. I uh, It's probably like... What, top five? power-ups in Mario history like it's it's very good and it's just it's a lot of fun to use and it's they implemented very well in this game and I really just appreciate it now at the end of every at the end of every zone ah, at the end of every zone there will be a boss and we are at the final level of this zone so that means here soon a boss is coming. Now, another thing that I'm really thankful about when it comes to this game is the music. You always gotta be paying attention to the music in these old Mario games because just the compressed the compressed music of these old consoles slash handhelds were really just something to behold. There are some really, really classy tunes in a lot of these old even I mean I said Mario, but really these old Nintendo games really just old games on Nintendo consoles. There we go. Let's make it just as broad as possible. You just, you got, you can't sleep on the tunes, man. Oh, here's the first boss. All right, so as a kid, I struggled with this one. He was kind of tough. He shouldn't have been too tough, but as you can see, he's like, he's got the babies. So basically we gotta just jump on his head. If you can get him in a, if you can get him locked in like this, Three times, he's out. Small Mario takes it home. Wow, all right. So, this episode's been about 15 minutes long. I think that's pretty good. Oh, it's six! It's six! Now, but there's also secret stuff we can do, so don't worry. There's gonna be plenty of game here, but it will probably only be about 10 episodes at most. And that is the Turtle Zone in the books. Very cool. Now, we can go back in here real quick. And we can go to this level once again. We are actually going to stay small Mario. I'm going to try to do my best. I don't, I am not looking anything up for this game. I'm just going to go all off of memory because I figured it out. I figured it out the first time. And, you know, the funny thing is I beat this game. <laughs> I beat it in one day and then I went back and I, on the same day, I, I beat it. And I stepped over to the next tube to go down to start a new profile. You know, you saw on the entry on the first screen. And I just beat it again, 100%, the same day, twice in one day, because it is just a really good game. And uh, the 100%ing uh, it's it pretty accessible, so that's fun. Wow, get wrecked, Mario. That's okay. We'll hop back in. We have 14 lives. Lives are not going to be an issue, much like every Mario game. We're going to see how fast we can tear through this, though. Look at that. Look at that. Come on, Mario. Swim. Come on, brother. He's up. He jumps. That's right. Zooms through. Ooh, look at that. Pixel perfect jump. Double fail. Up the tube. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm trying not to talk about Banjo-Kazooie because I want Super Mario Land to be its own series. And, like, we could just talk about Banjo-Kazooie all day, but we'll talk about Banjo-Kazooie when the bonus episode happens. 
Oh man, small Mario has to walk underneath, and he tears through it some more. Yeah, so it's impossible to get to this if you're not small Mario. So you gotta be small Mario. If that makes any sense. It's tough though, and they make it tough on purpose. Ooh. And the shark, you just walk, you just walk, shark will, won't, shark will ignore you, and just like that, the secret exit of Turtle Zone. Where are we going? We are going to this level off in the coast. Yeah! And you have to come here small, and it knows that. So that's a mushroom every time. Now, let me show you something. These blocks, you jump, you can spin jump. You have to jump and then hold down while you're in the air, or hold down and jump. So, pretty cool. What we got here? Uh, probably want you to get up there somehow. There we go. And that is another one up. That's 15 lives. Pretty good number right there. That was an M that it spelled out. We'd love to see Mario get spelled out in this secret level. Come on. You gotta break them. Why? Because you have to. That's the law. That was an A of coins. That is an R of coins. Now, I'll tell ya. Uh, something I'm not a huge fan of when I'm watching playthroughs of things is when they don't grab all the coins and stuff. Now, I'm not a super stickler about it, especially if I've played it already or played it before, but like, come on. Let's grab all the coins. And that's an O made out of coins. Even if you take even if you take a little bit of damage, that's fine. There it is. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. That was an L A N D. I don't know I'm sorry, I can't grab all these coins, but Super Mario Land 2. Wow. Let's grab them all, but get the get the carrot last. Boom. So basically that was just a fun little fun little side area. It counted as a it counted as a clear on our uh final <laughs> If you look at the whale, it's like, what? That dude just walked right through my blow hole. Yeah, but it counts for our end score. Now, a super fun thing in this, you can come in here, you can buy some power-ups. And you gotta be careful in Super Mario Land too, because if you get a mushroom, it'll just it'll make you big instead of instead of carrot, if I'm not mistaken. But 30, it has just some pretty good stuff like that. 50, it has a little bit of better stuff. I think it has like a star you can get. Um, maybe you can get some coins or something. Uh, 200, it's got a lot of good stuff. And then 99, it's just awesome. I think you can get like 500 coins. I have no idea. I can't remember what 99, 99, 9 does, but we're gonna get that whenever we can basically we're just gonna keep saving up coins because what else do we need them for but basically this was episode one of super mario land 2 i hope you enjoyed it we will be back maybe tomorrow with more super mario land 2 let me know what you think we're uh gonna tear through this game pretty quick but it's gonna be a lot of fun i'll see you next time